almost. I mean, so then uh, with the doll thing, what she did was actually create a murder scene with the kid. Like you abuse the kid a bunch, pedophilia, beat him, put him inside of a closet when he acts out and all that kind of shit, locks him up in there for several hours a day and whatnot. So the kid went and set the house on fire. But he didn't try to escape. He also didn't kill his parents. However, he became a spirit, which was what he wanted to do in the first place. The kid is also everybody else. Obviously, it's the will of Lilith. Whoever was the head at the time, probably the kid. And then he decides to become a spirit. So he can go inside of the doll by his own choice. It was his choice. So now he's in the doll and he figures he has to teach his parents how to treat him very well. So what does the doll do? Make sure that they know what they're supposed to do. What is it? And then they give him a list of shit that they're supposed to do for him. But you're a doll, not anymore. If you don't want me to kill you, you're going to treat me as if I'm a human. That's the that's the idea the, the kid's idea. That's how I will teach you how to treat me better. But then the kid is the boss, the kid is the head. What does what does the parent do the parents do? Instead of actually doing it for him, they do it for a little bit and then they hire a nanny. Is that okay? The boy says, Yeah, it's okay, I understand, because after a while the boy feels bad. So after a while, the boy feels bad because nothing's happening. Not really so much that if the boy feels bad, the boy got bored. Because that's Lily's problem. She does a bunch of shit and then she gets bored when nothing happens. You know what I mean? If nothing happens for her too long, even a fucking week, she goes crazy. Has to make shit happen. Has to cause shit because it's better than nothing happening. So, gets bored. Decides to tell them, let's just hire a nanny because before it was too boring, now it will be a movie. A horror movie because if you hire a nanny, there's no way in hell that she will actually follow these instructions. And since I already gave up in teaching you how to treat me because I'm a fucking doll and it makes no sense to feed me, I'm going to make fun of some random bitch because it's not going to be me, it's going to be somebody else, right? So what do I do? I send another version of you to you for you, to hang out with you, and then that version of you starts asking for another version of you so she can hang out with somebody that would actually understand what she's doing and so on and so forth, and from fake to real, and story of your life. Which one is the better version of those dolls? What do you think? I think Chucky has more fun. So, Chucky was talking to me before, and I was constantly saying, like, Chucky keeps talking to me, saying that he's with the Yakuza, he's doing shit. There's a series somewhere about Chucky, and he wanted me to look it up and see if I had the opportunity to, to, to rent it and actually watch. There's two movies on YouTube I will be renting tonight to watch because I figure the Wi-Fi is so shitty that it's not worth just sitting here and waiting forever. I, 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 I'm gonna see what will happen. I don't know if I'll download the movie after I buy or rent it. I don't know if it will just be available online. I've never rented a movie on YouTube. There's always a first. This is the first. I was able to download episodes on my tablet before. Now it won't even move. And I was trying to download the same episode for like three days now. It won't even move. They're not allowing me to download anything from Netflix anymore. Like at all. Can't download it at all. And it's vicious. Look at that. No internet. And every time I go ask or say anything at all. All they do is go like. Not my problem. Not my job. Not my problem, not my job, not my problem, not my job, not my problem, not my job, not my problem, my job. They just came here to see if I was here, but usually they come all the way down here. This time, this morning, this morning, 
even uh, or it was last night. I don't know. The girl came all the way back to the fucking bed to let me know that she didn't know that I was in my bed like at all. From there, she couldn't see obviously from the door. Very difficult. So they'll come all the way in to see if I'm here. This time, all they did was open the door and leave. So because I've been watching Netflix a lot. You know the Wi-Fi is fucked up and they don't let me download it to watch it. So this shit's gonna stop a shit ton. I'm already thinking. Either that or they like me watching live Netflix but not the YouTube channel. Why don't they like me watching the actual YouTube channels? Because it's real people from real time from right here right now. So. I am interfering with their life. All these scammers, they're all friends. They all talk to each other. They connect. They have the same cause, which is to rip everybody off as much as possible in every way possible. And they're all together. Nowadays. Huge conspiracy. So they want me to watch that YouTube, whatever. Not YouTube, just Netflix because it's fake. It's fake. Right? It's somewhere else, some other dimension, and obviously they don't like it either. But it's like, it's, it's the war, it's the bad and the worst. Like, which one can you choose, right? Because, gotta pick one, because I'm not just going to shut the fuck up, obviously. So, this is an Amazon tablet. Amazon tablet. I bought it from Amazon. No problem. Something I noticed about this tablet, it's not allowing me to download any YouTube app that will actually let me properly use YouTube as if it was a laptop or a phone. I cannot download anything and I cannot rent or buy movies and it's a fucking tablet, not even on a regular browser. And the Wi-Fi being shitty like that, they don't like me having access to apps so I don't even try anything at all other than Netflix. So what is it that's actually happening? They want me to take this tablet somewhere so I can download it somewhere else. It's not that they don't actually want me to watch or that they know that it's important. They just want to make it harder, right? Because if I take it somewhere, there is a fucking great, great, amazing fucking chance that this is gonna drop and break. Somebody's gonna take it, whatever. Hi, Amazon is a scam too. I barely buy anything there, barely, because I know it's a scam. They don't have a very good method to, to, to let you know which one is a good seller, which one is not. If you open a complaint to get your money back, the first few times it may be easy, but then the more you do it, the, la the least likely it is for them to actually give you your money back. And since there's a lot of scammers in there, and they don't have a good method of you finding out since it's so easy to get other people to give you fake feedback, just give them free shit, right? And then you scam everybody else. Normal, perfect. Amazon is perfect for that. They scam everybody all the time. So... I bought, you know, the brush, the hairbrush that I use for my hair. They're supposed to be spinning. When it got to my place, it didn't spin. Whatever. I bought a micro SD card. That was supposed to be one terabyte. When I tested it, it was only 100 megabytes. I got my money back for both, but then you just get like this, right? I don't think I want to buy anything there anymore. So I bought the tablet actually from Amazon itself so Amazon brand and that was really the only reason why I bought it why see what the fuck they would do see if they were gonna send me fake shit too or if it's just the sellers because it's a ruse right it's hard to control which ones are the sellers that are not good but if you're constantly getting complaints about them why are they still there you gotta have a business license and that's about it. Not even, like some sellers don't even have to have that. Scammers everywhere. And this is the, the app store on the tablet. It won't work. The Wi-Fi was connected, but it, it doesn't work. All it does is let's load all the other shit. 
But yeah, until now it didn't show me anything. I was trying to see if there is any browser that I can use on this stupid tablet that would allow me to fully use the features of YouTube. Or if they did that on purpose because yes, they did. Who the fuck uses a tablet for anything other than watching movies and shit like that? YouTube, why not? Playing games, what the fuck else do you use a tablet for? So you can't use full feature features from YouTube on a fucking regular fucking tablet. That you paid good money for, by the way. Amazon, don't buy it. Don't trust them. I want you to go bankrupt together with YouTube, together with everybody that I'm talking about. It's going to get fucked. Big time. Public. That's why I'm talking about it. I wanted to see it. You don't fuck with me. Piece of shit. It finally, after... A hundred tries, it allowed me to to download uh, an app that was a YouTube browser app, for what I understood. I'm going to log in and see if it will actually let me use the full features of YouTube. The Wi-Fi is already fucked up. Even though it allowed me to download that, it still not move on the Netflix. Because it's blocking that in specific... The only way to really do that is blocking certain websites, like certain places, and downloads from certain websites through the network. Again, same bullshit. Cannot download anything. So not the full features. Let's look for something else. Yeah, just like I thought, it will also not allow me to rent or buy a movie from YouTube, which is a YouTube browser for the tablet itself without that feature. So what do you think? YouTube is in on it. Amazon is in on it. Yeah. They're all in on it. They are. They're acting like they're not, but they are. They're all in on it. They're all together. And I do. I understand that they're all big corporations. And you figure they're the biggest people around. And that everybody that is big and, you know, got money or not is friends with them. Because everybody's a pedophile. Everybody thinks the exact same way. And... Everybody that you see around is your friend and nothing's happening and I am not Satan the creator and I am only Satan and I'm here because you're so damn special. It's all about you. Anyways, I think I've had enough of this talk and if I want to rent or buy a movie, I have to do it on my phone. Maybe the actual laptop would be okay. I don't know. I don't even feel like turning my laptop on right now because I don't have the charger. I left it at the library and I don't feel like going there to pick it up yet. I got a few things that I need to do before I go that way. Not ready to go that way yet. But believe me, I will be going that way.